what happened was religion was replaced by a new religion called science. Science is a religion. And I'm not saying that it's just a religion or that religion is bad, but it's a religion. It rests on metaphysical principles that are taken for granted, such as uh, everything that is real can be quantified and measured, such as uh, variables can be controlled, such as experiments are in theory repeatable, that they don't depend on the attitude of the experimenter and the place and time where he is, um, that there's an objective world outside of ourselves. Like these, these are a few of the metaphysical assumptions of science. And then you have a priesthood that speaks in their own special language. You have uh, uh, true believers, you have heretics who get excommunicated when they lose their funding. You have a long training ordeal called graduate school to initiate you into the priesthood. Uh, you have a system for indoctrinating the youth. I mean, the whole thing, yeah, it, it tells you how the world began, like a religion does, it tells you the nature of a human being. The whole thing is a religion. And it has provided that certainty that you were talking about for a long time. But now it is breaking down. It's breaking down because the paradise that it promised has not come to pass. Like we were, this is 2021, man. That, like you're maybe you're a little younger than me, but when I was a kid, even the year 2000 was like this impossibly futuristic paradise. You know, 2021, I mean, we were supposed to be like, you know, gods by now. But instead, life has gotten worse. People are, for example, less healthy than they were 50 years ago. Life expectancy is plateauing and starting to decline in the UK and, and the United States. Yeah, life expectancy rose in the first half of the 20th century. It rose by 26 years in the US. In the second half of the 20th century, it rose by maybe six years. Now it's, it's plateaued. And even before COVID, it was starting to decline. Another promise was we were going to engineer all poverty and crime out of existence. Political science was going to give us a perfect government. I mean, it didn't happen. So we're losing faith in science and people are having experiences that don't fit into science, that science says are impossible. These scientists, in a way that, like another way that they're like priests is that they perform these divination rituals using their sanctified instruments, their their microscopes, their computers. And it's like, it's like consulting an oracle. And then they come and tell the public what the future is going to be. And now, like you're saying, there's basically a schism. And some of the priests are telling us one thing and a minority of them are telling us something else. And yeah, how do you know what to believe? You can go and look at the data yourself and make your own interpretations. But if even PhDs are vehemently disagreeing on the interpretation of it, and even more today, even on the validity of the data itself, because it's like, well, that data has been adjusted, you know, and and, and and the more that science is politicized and woven into political narratives that are weaponized to defeat the other side, the less reliable data is. Because if your goal is to defeat the other side, then it's totally justified to change the data or or to be very hostile to data that doesn't fit your narrative and subject it to intense scrutiny. But if it does fit your narrative, you just welcome that. I mean, we see this happening in all the COVID, the vaccine conversations as well. So, so basically, we are facing a religious crisis right now, just like the one that the West faced, you know, 300 years ago um, in the transition from Christianity to science. We're facing another one right now. It's profoundly disorienting. So, so how do you know? How can you choose? In a way, like if you're honest with yourself today, there's no choice but to be uncertain.